James Garfield was the 20th president of America. His presidency was short-lived due to an assassination attempt which led to his death. He was born on November 19, 1831, in Orange, Ohio. His father, Abraham Garfield, was a wrestler and died when Garfield was just 17 months old. Garfield was the last of seven presidents to be born in a log cabin. James Garfield died on September 19, 1881, in Elberon, New Jersey. The career of James Garfield included the roles of preacher, teacher, lawyer, politician, and statesman. He was born into poverty but received a good college education, served in the Union Army during the Civil War, and became the 20th President of America. His term of office lasted for just 200 days in 1881, from March 4th until his death on September 19th. James Garfield was married on November 11th, 1858, to Lucretia Rudolph Garfield and had five children. One of their sons, James R. Garfield, followed his father into politics and became Secretary of the Interior under President Theodore Roosevelt. James Garfield belonged to the Republican political party. He was 49 years old when he was inaugurated as the 20th president. He was an extremely religious man and had been a preacher, which led to his nickname of the Preacher President. James Garfield's single executive order was to provide government workers the day off on May 30, 1881, in order to decorate the graves of those who died in the Civil War. Chester A. Arthur stood as vice president. James Garfield was six feet in height and weighed approximately 185 pounds. He had light brown hair, blue eyes, and wore a full beard. He was the first left-handed president. He was born to a poor family and became a hero of the Civil War. James Garfield was the poorest man ever to have become President of the United States. His presidency was short-lived. James Garfield was shot by Charles J. Guiteau, a disgruntled Republican. One bullet grazed his arm and a second bullet was thought to be lodged in his spine. Doctors probed his wound with dirty, unsterilized fingers whilst trying to locate the bullet. The President, bedridden in the White House, and was in considerable pain. Alexander Graham Bell devised a metal detector to find the bullet, but the device's signal was distorted by the metal bed springs. The bullet was never found, and infection caused death by blood poisoning. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of James Garfield. He had hoped to reform the spoils system in which politicians gave their friends and family members political offices, but who is best remembered for his untimely death. The next U.S. president was Chester A. Arthur.